Now, how did I know that ABIB 1 was wrong? I want to talk with you about that. Uh, first of all, I didn't really discover it was wrong uh, Saturday night and Sunday morning when I began to reinvestigate it. It wasn't the first time I had trouble. I want to hold up a list of about 43 points I had developed, and it's uh, what if uh, April 8th passes. I had a lot of problems with ABIB 1. This list was produced about 10 days ago. It's exactly as I produced it. Uh, I guess it would have been, this is, uh, it would have been nine days ago. I came in, sat in the office Sunday before last and came up with all kinds of questions I had about was ABIB 1 really right? And uh, I went on to learn about uh, uh, the Passover for the day of the Lord, but I still had reached a point where, and not reached a point where I was convicted about ABIB 1, so I want to read to you uh, something that was my, my original conclusion all, all, up to about an hour before I came downstairs on the Sabbath and spoke. Here's what I had in the conclusion. I said, delete it. It can't be right. It's got to be. It's got to be a, a, a seven solar years because I discovered that literally on the Sabbath. Now remember, I was learning at Mach 20, delivering three messages in 28 hours, and I wish I'd had one more day to sort it out. Uh, in, in a way, we wouldn't be here. But if I had, then I wouldn't be able to tell you all the wonderful things I'm going to be able to add today. 